the WHO leadership program was for four months. It granted me the opportunity to be trained in certain skills. It afforded me an opportunity for once to be assessed and rated. They took us through a 360 feedback assessment and they gave us candid opinions about ourselves. Generally brought to the fore what needed to be enhanced and what needed to be looked at differently. The style of delivery of the program by the facilitators, it was very unique and very participatory. It brought out teamwork and it helped us to work in cohesion. I have built my emotional intelligence in the essence that I listen more, applauding staff and giving them a pat on the back. Coaching and mentoring has also been one of the benefits I'm being able to apply from this program. It's been an inspiring figure in putting together the strategic plan and other work programs. This program taught us to look at our strengths and to look at how we could sharpen those strengths because you think that already I'm good in this area, but how can you make your good better and your better best? WHO working with the Ministry of Health with funding from the United Kingdom Department of Health and Social Care have contributed to nurturing a new breed of agile health workers for whom learning and self-reflection constitutes their ways of working. And to ensure sustainability, the World Health Organization has partnered Aseshi University, who have incorporated this training into their normal academic work. It gladdens my heart that Ghana has benefited from this initiative with 109 participants in four courts. My ministry will continue to work with WHO to consolidate the gains for a truly transformed health sector in Ghana with these groomed leaders. I'd like to thank the governments in African countries for their collaboration on this program and their determination to introduce extensive changes to the way leaders are working for better health results.